there are really three different theories as to how being exposed to Roundup or glyphosate can actually lead to cancer. The first theory is simply that glyphosate is genotoxic, meaning that it actually breaks DNA strands within the cells. Um, being exposed to Roundup for a prolonged period of time can lead to mutations in the cell, and that obviously is the starting point of cancer. The second theory is that uh, being exposed to Roundup or glyphosate can actually increase oxidative stress. And oxidative stress, which affects the way that your cell actually metabolizes energy, that kind of stress has been shown in the science to be directly associated with a host of serious conditions, including cancer, autism, and other forms of Parkinson's disease as well. The third theory centers primarily on the effect that glyphosate has on the microbes that are in our intestines. The theory goes is that the way glyphosate actually prevents plants from growing actually affects the microbes that live within our gut. And by killing off those microbes, it actually uh, prevents or creates a constant inflammatory state within the gut. And from there, there's a host of potential downstream effects that could lead to such things as cancer. And those are the three predominant theories about how exposure to glyphosate and Roundup can actually cause cancer. There's actually an emerging science uh, throughout the world linking glyphosate to cancer. The most prominent of those would be from the World Health Organization, the International Agency for Research on Cancer, or the IARC. This organization is sort of the most prominent organization around the world and recognized for identifying compounds that could be carcinogens. Just last year, they did a full year-long study of glyphosate to see, based on the most recent and publicly available information, whether or not this product was in fact associated with cancer. And they came back and put it in the second highest category as a probable human ca carcinogen. Recently, California's Office of Environmental Health Hazard Assessment uh, actually determined, in, in light of the IARC's assessment, that glyphosate was a substance known to the state of California to cause cancer.